Good morning. Today is May 17th, and I haven't been reading the dailies lately that I usually read. But I started again this morning, and this is so pertinent to so many of us where we're at, what we're going through. Um, a lot of us have had major course changes where we thought we were going in one direction. And <laughs> Abba said, ooh, take a sharp left or a sharp right. Okay, so listen to this. May 17th. And when 40 years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness, this is Moses, an angel of the Lord saying, Now come, I will send thee into Egypt. Acts 7, 30, 34. <clears throat> Often the Lord calls us aside from our work for a season and bids us be still and learn ere we go forth again to minister. Some of this is a little older language. Often the Lord calls us aside from our work for a season and bids us be still and learn before we go forth again to minister. There is no time lost in such waiting hours. Fleeing from his enemies, the ancient knight found that his horse needed to be reshod. Prudence seemed to urge him on without delay, but higher wisdom taught him to halt a few minutes at the blacksmith's forge, by the way, to have the shoe replaced. And although he heard the feet of his pursuers galloping hard behind, yet he waited those minutes until his charger was refitted for his flight. And then, leaping into his saddle, just as they appeared a hundred yards away, he dashed away from them with the fleetness of the wind, and knew that his halting had hastened his escape. So often, Yahuwah, Yahweh, builds us tarry before we go, and fully recover ourselves for the next stage of the journey and work. And I have been commuting two and a half hours um, for the last seven and a half years, almost eight, and it has been exhausting. Well, two of those years I didn't really commute, but since 2019 I have been. And this has been wonderful to stop and be still, focus on one place. Okay, now this is the poem that went with this. I'll read this last line again. So often, Yah bids us tarry before we go. Come aside, come aside, come aside, he says and rests, and fully recover ourselves for the next stage of the journey and work. And here's the poem. Waiting, yes, patiently waiting, till next steps made plain shall be, to hear with the inner hearing the voice that will call for me. Waiting, yes, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully waiting, with hope that need not grow dim. The master is pledged to guide me, and my eyes are unto him. Waiting, expectantly waiting, perhaps it may be today, the master will quickly open the gate to my future way. Hey, you two. Hey. 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 Penny. It's okay. We have cat rivalry in this house sometimes. We shouldn't because everybody has what they need, but you know how some cats are more bossy than others. <laughs> <clears throat> waiting, expectantly waiting, perhaps it may be today. The master will qu uh, quickly open the gate to my future way. Waiting, yes, waiting, still waiting. I know though I've waited long, that while he withholds his purpose, his waiting cannot be wrong. Waiting, yes, waiting, still waiting. The master will not be late. He knows that I am waiting for him to unlatch the gate. <laughs> wait patiently for him. And again, he says, wait. Oh, excuse me. So many of us have had um, absolute total changes in 
what we thought we would be doing. And that is one of the most exciting places to be, even though it's confusing, because that means that, um, that anyway, that's just very exciting. So be at peace today. Shalom. And if you are waiting, occupy while you wait. But if he's pulled you aside to rest, it's not just a physical rest. It's a trusting in him that he will do what needs to be done in our lives. <laughs> She's the, That's Penny mad at a kitten. <laughs> Come here, baby. Anybody want a kitten? We have four. But they're really amazing when you watch them. They'll make you laugh. If you need a laugh, watch a kitten for a little while. Shalom, rest, recover, and then we will advance again in the right moments. Shalom.